Many of you have already seen the headline and maybe the images, but if I didn't make a video about this, I'd be ignoring one of the greatest moments we've ever achieved in space exploration. Of course, I'm talking about the images revealed from the James Webb Space Telescope, and boy, they are beautiful. And we've been waiting on these for a while. James Webb Space Telescope began its journey on Christmas of last year, and July 12th, a lot of people had a countdown waiting for this date because we finally have these to behold. James Webb is the largest telescope to be sent into space and its entire journey has been, well, a nail biter for the astronomy community, as well as those who have worked an entire career with Webb. I am thrilled and I'm relieved because you know when you start something this big, you know there's always a possibility. It might not work. It did work. We are so proud. It is the most powerful telescope that has ever been built in this moment has been decades in the making. Seriously, take a look at this timeline. In 1989, the concept for Webb was first imagined as a successor to the Hubble telescope. In 2004, construction began on Webb with thousands of scientists, technicians, and engineers from 14 countries that have spent 40 million hours building Webb. 2018 was the original time frame that was planned for the launch, but like with many projects, there were delays. Even during the month of the official launch last December, there were some postponements. If you'll remember in December 2021, the original launch date was supposed to be December 18th. Well, that was pushed to December 22nd after technicians were preparing to attach the telescope to the upper stage of the rocket when, quote, a sudden unplanned release of a clamp band caused a vibration throughout the observatory. Now, of course, they tested and reviewed the observatory after this and teams concluded that it was not damaged, but this was definitely a scary moment for all of those involved. And weather even pushed the launch back again one more day from December 24th to December 25th. So we all had a Christmas miracle or a Christmas present when we got to see James Webb launch from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. December 26th was a crucial day. This was when Webb released its antenna assembly. This included a high data rate dish antenna that serves as the telescope's way of sending back 28.6 gigabytes of science data twice a day. So July 12th, NASA finally released high resolution color images from Webb and they are just astounding. The pictures will not only change the way people see space, but I really think it's getting more people excited about space. Scrolling through Facebook, I saw some of my friends post about the James Webb Space Telescope images, and I didn't know that they even had an interest in this, so it really does seem to be pulling more people in from the mainstream and getting all of us excited to explore what's out there. This photo, for example, shows the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. And check out this comparison to Hubble's deep field. In fact, I found this meme on Twitter. I think it's kind of funny, so shout out to the creator. But yeah, it just is huge night and day difference between the two telescopes. Here are some more absolutely astonishing photos. Stefan's Quintet. This is a visual grouping of five galaxies. This enormous mosaic is Webb's largest image to date, according to NASA. It covers about one fifth of the moon's diameter. And this one here is my favorite. This is Carina's Nebula, located in our Milky Way galaxy. The area, referred to as the Cosmic Cliffs, show a giant gaseous cavity as young stars that were recently born push down ultraviolet radiation and create that jagged looking edge that you see. This image shows a planetary nebula known as the Southern Ring Nebula as it's dying. The image shows the star expelling gas and dust as it dims with the ionized gas seen in quote, unprecedented detail, according to NASA. And we're so thrilled to have these images, but Webb isn't done, of course. Here are some of the main goals. Searching for the first galaxies or luminous objects that formed after the Big Bang, to determine how galaxies evolved from their formation until the present, observe the formation of stars from the first stages to the formation of planetary systems, and to measure the physical and chemical properties of planetary systems and investigate the potential for life in those systems. 
So it is just such an exciting moment for space right now. And I'm so glad that we all get to be a part of it, especially with the technology that we have today. We have access to this in a way that we never have before. So really exciting stuff. I wanna know from you in the comments, which one is your favorite? And again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Ellie in Space if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.